So I wanted to talk some about the wireless Wi-Fi card that's inside laptops. Now, I've had laptops in the past that the drivers are set correctly and everything's working perfectly, but I still cannot connect to the internet, and this is a problem that I've experienced more than one time. And this machine, this HP machine, had such a problem as well. Oftentimes, if you upgrade, like this used to be a Vista, and if you upgrade it to a Windows 7 or even a 10, sometimes you cannot find the drivers for the old hardware. And this is an example of the Wi-Fi card that's in it, and they're pretty standard. So I wanted to show you how to upgrade or change or just swap out a different Wi-Fi card and solve some of those problems. Like I said before, a lot of times if you go into the device manager, everything seems fine, but you cannot uh, connect to a, a hotspot. I had one computer that uh, it said that uh, it had local area connection only, and the the wide worldwide internet didn't work. No matter what I did with the drivers, I couldn't get it to go. And the only way to solve the problem was to swap out the Wi-Fi card. And I actually swapped it out for the same exact one, just a different one, and it worked. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very simple. There's not much to it. Let's get started with that. So before you decide to go ahead and buy a new one of the wireless adapters for Wi-Fi, I recommend that you take your old one out first and get some specs off it so you're sure that the new one will fit. There's a half height card and a full height card, meaning the size of this, and you just want to make sure you get the right one. So let's go ahead and open up this laptop and I'll show you how to get to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take the battery out and make sure that uh, you've got it unplugged from the wall. That's a good thing to do. I've got my battery out. And if you look on the cover, a lot of times there's clues to which cover to take off. So look for the little pictures. In this case, on this HP, it's under this cover here. So I'm going to need a Phillips screwdriver, which I have. This one has two screws, and it just pops off. Located right here is the actual wireless Wi-Fi card. You can see it's the same as this one. So it's good, again, to identify what size card that you need for your laptop before you buy a new one. And also make note of how many antenna wires are coming off it. You can see there's a black and a white wire that connect to these two terminals here. And so this needs the two connector. I've seen where it's been one, two, and four. So be mindful of that. Now that we've got our battery unplugged, it's pretty safe to go ahead and remove this. So let me go in for a little tighter look and we'll take that out of there. So on my wireless card, there's these two pins for the antenna are marked. There's a black triangle and a clear triangle. And if you look on here, they're even numbered the wires one and two. If not, you may want to take a picture of what it looks like before you begin or just make a mental note. And to get the antenna wires off, you just very carefully pull it off. It's just pressed on there like that. So I've got my two wires off there. And if you look down in here, there's, on this one, there's just one single Phillips screw. There's actually a place for two, but there, one is holding the card in. So I've got a pretty fine tip on this Phillips screwdriver. I'm just going to use that and remove the screw. And it helps too if it's magnetic, you know, so you can pull it away. 
There's the screw there. You can see the card just kind of pops up at me, and that's just the nature of how it's held in there. So now you can just take it and pull it back towards you, and there's the card there. So looking at these two cards, they are the same size. They're a different brand. But you, what you want to do is make sure that when you go on like Amazon or eBay and buy a new card that you're buying, again, the same size card and the same amount of pins for your machine. And you should have no problem installing it. And make sure, of course, that it works with the operating system that you're interested in. If you're looking for Windows 7 or Windows 10, make sure that the card supports it or the, they have drivers, okay? And it's the opposite to reinstall it. To reinstall it, a lot of times it's easier if you pop the antenna on first. And again, that's just the reverse order. You just put the wire on the terminal and press down and it will stay there, hopefully. snaps right on and then you press it you push it into the connector like that and then you press down okay get my screw tighten it up make sure these wires are out of the way reinstall your cover plate and then we can put our battery back in so there it is I've put my new Wi-Fi card in and you're gonna have to fire up your machine and wait for it to detect the new hardware and when that happens go ahead and tell it to install the drivers and if you buy a brand new card such as this it'll come with drivers you know a little disk perhaps or maybe they'll give you a link to get it off the internet and you just install the drivers as the instructions tell you and you should have no problem getting wireless internet it's that simple well, I hope this video has been some use. If it has, leave us a comment and a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.